Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're working our way through. We're all the way up to chapter 9 and verse 43 to 45. And they were all amazed at the majesty of God. But while everyone marveled at all the things which Jesus did, he said to his disciples, Let these words sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men. But they did not understand this saying, and it was hidden from them so that they did not perceive it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. So Jesus is coming back, and this is the second or third time now. He's just started here in this chapter. He's telling them, I'm going to be murdered. I'm going to die. This is part of my mission. You know, Jesus sees himself as that lamb of God to be sacrificed. He knows he's going to be to give his life for humanity. So people are surprised and amazed at what Jesus is doing, but he's telling on the inner circle, he's telling his disciples, hey, you see these powerful things right now. And we're, we're so glad, but he says, you know what? There's a lot of darkness, dark days ahead. Uh, there's going to be suffering and intense trouble ahead. Let this sink down into your ears. You know, it's like you didn't get it the first time. You didn't get it this time. And it says there that they just did not understand it. And they knew that there was something they didn't quite get. They didn't quite understand it. And then the last piece is also sort of damning in a way, isn't it? And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. Man, you guys are in the presence of Jesus, you know. He, he, if there's anybody to ask and get an answer, you, you know, you are pretty well located, you know. How many of us, thousand, two thousand years later, we'd like to ask some of our own questions, you know. But, but you guys are right there on the scene. You're right there. And you could ask him, what did you mean by this? But they were afraid to ask Jesus about this saying. Are we afraid? Should, should there be anything you and I are afraid to ask Jesus? And the answer is no. Ask him anything. Ask him anything. And look to his word for answers and be in communion with him through prayer. He will give you help and leading and guidance and answers. And a lot of times we have to be a lot more spiritually perceptive or we're going to miss the answer of Jesus. But at least let's ask him the questions. At least let's ask him the questions. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, please be our leader today. Help us not to be afraid to ask you anything. Help us, Lord, to recognize that uh, where there is a crown, there is also suffering before that crown. Help us to recognize that everything in Christianity is not apple pie and ice cream. Lord, we know there are challenging pieces along the way. Be our leader Help us to endure all the challenging pieces as we move on to the greater glory that's ahead. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, may the Lord bless you as you serve him today.